Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today we're gonna talk about fishing the yo-yo jig. So spring fishing is in full effect here in Southern California and the yellowtail are on the chew. We've got bluefin moving up the coast, the yellowfin are not far behind, but the yellowtail at the islands right now is on fire. Now you've probably heard the term yo-yo jig, yo-yo fishing. It's a crazy good technique that's awesome for yellowtail. It's actually very simple to do. Heck, even I can do it. Uh, I was actually just got off the boat. We had a CCA, Coastal Conservation Association trip this week. Uh, we were out at San Clemente Island aboard Fury Sport Fishing and I caught this yellowtail right here. Now fishing out there was awesome. It was a little bit slow, but once we uh, got into that yo-yo uh, jig bite, it, it picked up. We ended up with seven of these big yellowtail. That one in that photo there came in at 30 pounds. It actually was like 29.8 bled out. Uh, so it was a little over 30 pounds when it came over the rail. It was a big fish. It actually won me the jackpot. I like that. Uh, I don't get those too often, but it, it, was, it was a good one. So anyway, that yo-yo jig, very effective. All it consists of is a heavy jig, whatever brand you like, there's a lot of them out there and then your setup. Now for rod and reel for the yo-yo jig, what I've got here is I've got the Okuma PCH Custom. This is the seven foot heavy casting rod. It's got a, it's got a lot of backbone and it's a great rod for the yo-yo jig. Now on the reel, I've got the Tesoro. This is the Tesoro 12. These are all high speed reels. Every crank of that handle, you're gonna get almost four feet of line. That's gonna be very key and we'll talk about that just in a second. Now, as far as the iron goes, like I said, there's many brands of iron out there and it's gonna be a heavy jig that you want. This happens to be the Kaivo 3 Ot. Uh, it's a heavy jig, I don't know how big it is. Let's call it uh, like six ounces, eight ounces. But the key is you wanna get it down to the bottom and then you're gonna grind as fast as you can. Uh, the swimming action on these uh, is not super exciting. It's a very reactional bite when you get it down to the bottom on that yo-yo. So what you're looking for when you're out on the water and the captain says, okay, drop your jigs now, pulls the engine back, he stops, he says, drop it down. This is what you see. So when he sees that big jag of fish, you drop that iron down, get it down to the bottom as fast as you can. And as soon as you feel it stop, drop it down. As soon as you feel it stop, pop it into gear and just start cranking. Crank as fast as you can. What I like to do is I'll give it about 10 cranks, drop it back into free spool, let it get down to the bottom until you feel it stop, pop it into gear, give it 10 cranks, and just keep doing that over and over. Now, what I was talking about, the high-speed reel, this is Tesoro, like I said, you're gonna get almost four feet of line per turn of the handle. So if I said I, I'm gonna give it 10 cranks of the handle, 10 turns, that's almost four, uh, I'm sorry, that's almost 40 feet of water column from the bottom up 40 feet, drop it back down, bottom up 40 feet. So you just figure that out in your reel. You might want to do 15, you might want to only do eight, depends how tired you get. But on this reel, I'll drop it to the bottom, I'll give it 10 quick cranks, drop it back down. So I'm covering 40 feet of the water column. For the most part, when you saw that jag of those fish on that screen there a second ago, those fish are down, they're, they're down, they're locked in very tight to the bottom. So I'll take that jig, I'll drop it down, Drop it in a free spool. As soon as you feel it, just give it that crank. You're gonna give it that 10, 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drop it back down. Usually you're gonna be within about the second, the third crank. All of a sudden you're gonna feel that thing load up. You're gonna feel it load up. It feels like you're snagged. And all of a sudden you're gonna feel those big head shakes. Those yellowtail, they got very distinct head shakes when they're pulling. Very easy technique. Like I said, very, very effective. That's the yo-yo jig. So that's all you're doing in the yo-yo jig is you're dropping it down, reeling it up, dropping it down, reeling it up over and over again. It can get very tiring, but it's crazy good effective. Surface iron, one of my favorite. Live bait, very easy to do. Just get that bait out there, get the swim away. But that yo-yo, when they're not biting anything else, like this weekend, they were not biting anything else for us. We didn't get one fish on live bait. It was all on iron. We had one surface iron and the rest were all on yo-yo. That's what they're keyed in on. Drop it down, give it that 10 cranks, and as soon as you feel that thing load up, keep pressure on that thing. Most of these jigs have a nice treble hook on them. You're gonna bury that thing deep, but I actually pulled a hook on one this uh, week as well. So luckily I was able to hook two, I landed one. That one fish happened to be the jackpot fish, but keep steady pressure on there. Once you're locked into that fish, keep that pressure, work it around the rail, up and down if you have to, over and under. It's, uh, you know, most of these are just one day trips, not a ton of experienced anglers out there but work with everybody that's on the railing, move around, get that fish to the boat. That's your key. Lay it out nicely, deck handle gaff it, and then you're gonna have some fresh hamachi for yourself and uh, for the family. Uh, yeah, so another key there on that yo-yo is you'll see people doing this on the rail. 
they're doing this thing. Get down to the bottom, they're jigging it up and down. That's not yo-yoing. Like I said, just drop it down to the bottom, free spool, hit the bottom, give it your 10 cranks, drop it back down, give it to those 10 cranks, and just do that over and over. This isn't it, that's not what you're doing. Drop it down, reel it up. Very simple, very, uh, very effective. I appreciate y'all checking in. I hope that gave you some tips on how to do some yo-yo jigging. Try it the next time you're out. Grab yourself a couple of heavy irons. All the brands out there work. Uh, you know, pick out your favorite colors, blue and white. This happens to be a blue, yellow, and white. There's scrambled egg, solid white, the reds for the red crab, just whatever you want to do. Give it a shot. It's effective. Appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below, subscribe to Davies World Fishing up in that right-hand corner. We'll see y'all soon. Thank <laughs> you.